Hello dear students, today we're gonna learn 16 new words. Maybe you know some of them, but I'm not sure whether you know them or not. That's why I will just teach them, okay? The first word is conscription. I'm writing it here. So conscription means compulsory enlistment into armed forces. For example, this is Owen. For example, in Armenia, we have a conscription twice a year. One is in winter, the other is in uh, summer. The second word is discrepancy. Okay, discrepancy, which means contradiction, disagreement, mismatch difference the third word is euphemism pay attention to the spelling please this word means the substitute the alternative we can say polite term okay of something now let me rub out and write the next word okay Number four is proverb, you know it, I'm sure, which means saying. Number five is heyday, very nice word, meaning the peak, the height, the bloom, the prosperity, prime of life. Number six is antidote. Let me write it here. Antidote, which means the antitoxin, the medicine which is given or taken to counteract the poison that somebody has taken, okay? Or uh, we can say the antidote to snake bites, for example, the snake bites and you get poisoned, then you take this antidote. The next word, number seven, is audition. What is audition? When singers, I don't know, uh, actors, actresses, go and take an interview, let's say th that is called also tryout, the trial to special uh, committee to be admitted, okay, uh, for the role of the job or the job i don't know for example you go to the auditions but you are not sure whether you will be taken for that role or for that job the next one let me rub out again is referendum i know that you know this word but anyway we will have it in our exercise that's why i'm giving it to you that's the political vote, po popular vote, let's say, not political, the public vote, the ballot. Uh, the next word is correlation. Correlation, which means the connection, the link, the relationship between two or more things, okay? The third, not the third, I'm very sorry, number 10 is plug. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the spelling plug. It's an ornamental plate, tray. For example, when I travel, I always bring plugs from different countries. I have a collection. Okay, now let's go forward. Number 11 is custody. Custody, which means the care. The charge, the keeping, for example, now when somebody dies, the child uh, is given to the custody of, I don't know, another person. The next word is clemency. Clemency, which means the mercy, the pity, the leniency, especially during trials, the judge uh, can let the criminal go with clemency, okay? What is backlog? This is number 13. 
backlog. Uh, this is the pile up of uncompleted work or matters. For example, when I go to conferences and come back, I have huge backlog. Let me rub out here again and go forward. The next word is just. It is number 14. Just, which means the essence, the meaning, the substance, the central theme of something. Number 15 is obituary. To tell the truth, I don't like this word. This is the notice of a death, including the brief bio of the dead person, the deceased. Deceased means the dead person, okay? And the last word, 16, is legacy. This is a nice word, which means the money or property left to somebody in a will, the inheritance, the bequest, the heritage. Okay? Thank you for your attention.